Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel associated with Fuel Up Academy. So today we are going to discuss how to solve linear equations with three variables with the help of Gauss elimination method. So what is it? First of all, Gauss elimination. As the name suggests, uh, Gauss is the mathematician who had introduced this and elimination means you have to remove one of the variable so that you can equate and solve the linear equations. How? Let me tell you. So these are three set of equations with three variables. What you need to do, you know, usually when we have to solve x, y and z, we usually take a matrix form, which is the set of, which is from, which is made up of, from coefficients, right? So one, one, two. 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? And then your column matrix, which is from these three elements, and your x, which is from your variables, right? Usually we do ax equals b, and we find out the values of x, y, and z. But here, the new thing is, you have to form an augmented matrix, which is a matrix C in the form of A ratio B. A is to B. What does it mean? You have to take your A matrix, which is this, and with this is to of B elements. Okay. Now your next step is, and next step will be, this is your diagonal element. These are your diagonal elements, right? You have to make all the elements under this line, that means these three, okay, as zero. Using some operations, row elementary operations or column, but using both, taking, considering both of these. A as well as B. Okay. Let's do so. So, if you want to make these two zero all together, what you can do? If you subtract this, means elements of row 2, this is your row. Row 2, if you deduct row 2 from row 1, right? And for row 3, what you can do? Row 3 elements... You can deduct row 3 elements from row 1, but see, if you want to make it 0, you can deduct, you can subtract R2 from R1 or R1 from R2, both are same. You can take R2 and R1 as well, both are same and you can take them common. R3, row 3, if you want to make it 0, then if you subtract 2, from 2 and to make it 2 you have to multiply it with 2 right so 2 r1 let's solve it 1 minus 1 first of all you are not applying anything in row 1 right so keep all elements constant okay thereafter in row 2 you are simply subtracting row 1 from row 2 1 minus 1 0 Minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 4, minus 4. Then for row 3, what you are doing, you are subtracting twice of row 1 from row 3. So, 2, twice of this, 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, 5 minus 8 is minus 3, right? So your elements, let me write it here, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 1, 4, minus 4, minus 3. Alright? Now, as I told you, you have to make these three zeros. You have done this part so far. Now it's done for this. So how you can make it zero? If you subtract... So, why I did so? Because if you see, you 
want to make it zero, right? So minus one, minus, minus of twice of this. So two times two is four. So minus one. Oh, you want to make it zero, right? So you can, you can twice this. So you can take twice of this. So R three, twice of R three, minus R two, right? So in this way, twice of R three means minus two. Minus is in formula. Minus two. So minus minus plus two. It will be cancelled zero, right? Correct. So you are not applying anything to row one and row two. Your row three will be two R three minus R two because both of these elements are zero. So zero minus one minus two plus two zero. This will be minus two, and this is nothing. This will be minus six. Minus is in formula. Minus minus plus four, so minus two, right? Now what you need to do, you have to make, you have to use this formula, but now your, because you are taking ratios of these, so your new A will be this matrix. Your new B will be your four minus four minus two. Okay, now applying this all again. So, if you apply this formula, taking these values, so A is one zero zero one minus two zero one zero minus two. X is the column matrix having variables x, y, and z. And B is four minus four minus two, right? So you know this is three by three matrix, three rows, three columns. This is three by one, so it will result into three by one. Now, you know you will make three equations from these, equating right hand side. So, x plus y plus z equals four. Then zero x zero minus two y. So second row, first column, zero x minus two y zero z equals minus four. So it will be two. Minus is cancelled. Four divided by two is two. And this will be. You can see by making zeros from here, you eliminated uh, two elements, and from here, you eliminated two elements. So. It will ease your process of finding out x, y, z. This is your what it is minus two. So minus two z equals minus two z equals one. So your solution. And if you put the values of y and z in the list, so x plus y plus z equals four. Four minus three is one. So your solutions. X, Y, and Z are these. I hope you got this video. If so, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to see, check out Fuel Up Academy as well. All right. Thank you so much, and have a nice day. And we will see each other soon. Thanks.